Hi guys, welcome to exam pad. In today's class, they have given the square root problem. They ask us to find the x value and x to the power certain value. So, let's take that question. Let's start our solution. Okay. Solution is, first we need to take the question. Question is root of 12, root of 12, root of x which is equal to 2 power 6. So, first step is we need to take square on both sides. Okay. So, by taking square, what will happen means the root get cancelled by the square. Okay. Square on both sides. Now, we take an square. So, by the square, this root get cancelled. Okay. So both get cancelled. What we have here is 12 of root 12 of x which is equal to by seeing itself we might be know is in the form of a power m the whole power m which is equal to what a power m into n. So therefore now this becomes 2 power 6 into 2 which is equal to 2 power 6 to z 12. Okay. Now, we need to remove this square root also. Then again, take square on both sides. Take square on both sides. Okay. So now, this equation becomes 12 of root of 12 x the whole square which is equal to 2 power 12 the whole square. So, by doing this, this square gets separated for this square and multiplied by root 12 of root x, the whole square, which is equal to, now this becomes 2 power 12 into 2. Then what we have here is 12 square multiplied by, for this root and square get cancelled. So, what we have here, 12 multiplied by root x which is equal to 2 power 12 into 2, 24. Okay. So, now if you see here. Okay. Now if you see here. Now we need to remove the square root. For that what we have to do? We need to take square on both sides. Again. Okay. So, by taking square. So, we applied square on both sides here. Okay, the both sides get squared. Now, now what we have is split and write the square. Therefore, 12 square the whole square multiplied by 12 square multiplied by root x the whole square which is equal to 2 power 24 multiplied by 2. Now, this is in the format of 12 power multiplied 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 12 power 2 multiplied by for this the square root and square get cancelled we have x here and this becomes 2 power 24 into 2 gives 48 ok so now if you see here Get simplified this 2 power 4 multiplied by 2 power 2 multiplied by x which is equal to 2 power 48. Now I am going to write this 12 as 4 multiplied by 3. Therefore, 4 multiplied by 3 the whole power 4 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 3 the whole power square multiplied by x which is equal to 2 power 48. So, we know that 4 is equal to 2 square is it this 4 can be written as 2 square multiplied by 3 the whole power 4 multiplied by in this 4 can be written as 2 square multiplied by 3 the whole square multiplied by x which is equal to 2 power 48 so this is what we have here so now we see here this is in the format of 
so just split and write the power 4 individually day 4 2 square the whole power 4 multiplied by 3 power 4 multiplied by 2 square the whole square multiplied by 3 square multiplied by x which is equal to 2 power 48 that is 2 power 48 so now to see here so now this is in the format of 2 power 2 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 3 power 4 2 power 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 square multiplied by x which is equal to 2 power 48 so now 2 power 4 twos are 8 multiplied by 3 power 4 multiplied by 2 power 2 twos are 4 multiplied by 3 square multiplied by x which is equal to 2 power 48 okay now if you see here just take 2 in one side and 3 in other side therefore 2 power 8 multiplied by 2 power 4 multiplied by 3 power 4 multiplied by 3 square into x which is equal to 2 power 48 so this is in the format of a power m into a power n can be written as a power m plus n is it so just apply that directly here therefore 2 power 8 plus 4 multiplied by 3 power 4 plus 2 multiplied by x which is equal to 248 here the base is same the power gate added in multiplication so 2 power 12 multiplied by 3 power 4 plus 2 6 multiplied by x which is equal to 2 power 48 so this is one now so now i need only x value so x is equal to 2 power 48 divided by 2 power 12 multiplied by 3 power so now see here a power m divided by a power n can be written as a power m minus n. So just apply this rule here therefore x is equal to 2 power 48 minus 12. So just apply this formula for only this two combo and multiply it by 1 divided by 3 power 6. This is what we have. So now 48 minus 6 which is equal to 12. 48 minus 12 which is equal to 36. Therefore 12 power 36 divided by 3 power 6. Okay. So this is the x value. But in question what they ask us to find is they ask us to find this x value and also root x power 1 by 3. So now we see here the x value. You can also just write this x as 2 power 6 the whole power 6 divided by 3 power 6 which is equal to 2 power 6 divided by 3 the whole power 6. The both are same. From this also we already found the x value as they also found this also. Therefore x value as 2 power 6 the by 3 the whole power 6 we found the x value. So just simplify this. The root of x power 1 by 3 can also be written as x power 1 by 3. The whole power this root can also be written as 1 by 2. So now this can also be written as x power 1 by 3 multiplied by 1 by 2. Thereby I get x power 1 by 6. Okay. 3, 2 is 6. So now x value is what? 2 power 6 divided by 3. The whole power 6 is x value. So x to the power of 1 by 6 again. So whole to the power of 1 by 6. So now this can also be written as 2 power 6 divided by 3, the whole power 6 multiplied by 1 by 6. For 6 and 6 get cancelled, therefore I get the root of x power 1 by 3 which is equal to 2 power 6 divided by 3. So this, this is what the two answer for this question. So practice tries and tries, then you will get a perfect answer. Have a nice day. Bye bye.